Hi everyone, um, so I'm back doing um, process videos of my layouts, just my general layouts rather than just project life. Um, I did start doing this last year, but I gave up. Um, I always made an excuse. I always said that, you know, I didn't want to use the table as much and it was the, the lighting wasn't good enough or um, I didn't have time and all that sort of jazz. But I thought, no, I absolutely love watching people do, people do process videos on YouTube. So I wanted to join in basically. So that's it was what I'm doing. So you should see a lot more process videos going up, hopefully, um, along with all the ones that I do. So this is me catching up with my bits and pieces from last year. Um, so I'm in about November time um, and we did absolutely loads around that time. So I've got quite a few photos to catch up on. So I'm starting off in, I always do it in chronological order. Like I'm a bit pedantic like that. I have to do it in chronological order. Um, just so that I know that I've done up to that sort of time and I can move along rather than doing events or what I fancy. I just like things to be all complete and then I can move on to the next one. So we went down to Winter Wonderland and this is what all this sort of series will be about for the next couple of videos because I've got quite a few photos. We went down to Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park, which is in London. And for people that don't know, Winter Wonderland is a huge like event that they take over the whole of Hyde Park with rides and German markets and games and all sorts, no, you know, shopping and ice skating and yeah, fairground rides. Like it's absolutely huge, um, but it's so much fun and it runs from like November through till January. Um, and it's normally free, but this year they actually started charging because they cancelled it last year due to COVID. But this year, because they didn't want too many people there, they decided to charge five pound each which is nothing really but for peak time so like the weekends basically but it does go throughout the whole week as well um so we went down on the sunday um and we went with i went with my boyfriend and our two friends who were also a couple um and yeah we went down by train which was really nice but we probably picked the worst time to go down because it was a football match as well so the train was absolutely packed like people were sat in our seats so we couldn't really do much we just had to find new ones which it's not the end of the world but it was just annoying because we, we obviously were four of us. It wouldn't be so bad if it was just me and Joe, but there's four of us. So we all wanted to sit together and the trains were taking longer because there was engineering works. So we couldn't have picked a worse day to go down. But once we were there, we were there. And yeah, it was a full day thing. So to the layout. So I've pretty much done it. I mean, it's only a very short video. <laughs> um, So I've used the Simply Creative paper pad for this collection, which is a grey and blue sort of um colours. And this is a really cute star pattern in the background. Um, and I'm basically wanting it to be like blue and purple and grey, silver sort of um, theme. Um, so where I've gone now, I've gone to go find a paper pad, I believe, because I, I pulled out a paper pad that was silver and grey, but not anything blue. So I've got this paper pad from um, The Works and it's a really cute one. It's just, um, I can't think what it's called, Winter Days or something like that. Um, and it's like purples and blues and things. So it's, I, I really love it. So I use that one and I just cut it in half and I use it at the top and the bottom just to go around with the photo. So the photo in the middle um, is of our lunch. We went to Shake Shack, which is only in London. We can't get anywhere else. So we want, they wanted to go whilst we were down in London. So that's where we went for lunch and it was so good. Um, so we made a thing about that and they were so excited that they got to go to Shake Shack. Um, and then the picture at the bottom is a picture of all four of us um, at the tube station in London waiting for our tube to go over to Hyde Park. And then I just used the ticket at the top. Um, it's just one of the tickets, just because it had the Winter Wonderland logo at the top, so I thought that I could serve as my title. Um, and I just stick that down. So I'm just sticking down all the photos. I do have a little cut apart that I got, I think it's from Echo Park, and it just has a little bit of Winter Magic. So I think it was last year's collection. So I just used that just to put next to the photo and I'm just choosing some like um die cuts um I've got some leftover sort of they're cut aparts but they're the smaller ones that do get lost if you don't sort of keep track of them so I put them in a little box and I'm just picking ones to go along um side the photo so I've got one that says the best memories and I just put it underneath that photo there as you can see I pretty much just make a decision and then I stick it down because as I said I I've got too many photos I'd be here all day if I spent hours doing one layout so I do them very very quickly just to get them all down so I'm using this washi tape this washi tape is from Dovecraft I've had it for quite a while actually to be honest um it came in like a pack of three but it's really nice it's like a tealy turquoise 
blue um it's got little snowflakes and stuff on there so yeah i really like it so i put it in three different places um i put it in the middle um at the top and then along the photo at the bottom And I was having trouble with it, actually. I couldn't, like, that... I think it's because it's old. It doesn't come off very well. Sometimes it rips, which is really annoying. Um, So I'm just finding something to put in that bit there. And I find this little 2x2 two two square. It says, Hello Winter. Because obviously it is winter. So um, I wanted to go wintry rather than Christmassy. Just because it, it is Christmassy, you know. But it's it's more about winter. You know, like hot chocolates and uh, mauled wine and, you know... That sort of thing. So it's more wintry than Christmassy. So that's what the way I wanted to go. And then I did have a little cut apart that said Winter Wonderland. So I stuck that down um, next to it just to put that gap basically so they couldn't see like between the washi tape and the paper. Um, and I'm just looking at some other bits and pieces that I can put down. Um, I do have the rest of these sticker sheets. These are the last year's Echo Park and Cartabella collections for the winter. Um, so I'm trying to use those up as much as I can. I only have a few stickers left. I have um, a little word sticker <clears throat> that I want to put down. Um, and I finally decided on a little one that says winter and I just put it under the best memories. Um, and then I also pick out this little like, is it like an icicle sort of wind thing? Um, I'm not really sure what it is, but I stick that just above the photo of us four. And then I um, find the little sort of one that matched and put it up against the hello winter. Um, and then I do think I find another little sticker and I put it on top of um, the little spirals. And it just says, thank you. I just thought it was cute. I'm not sure what I'm doing now. I'm just sort of staring. <laughs> I do. Uh, yeah, I think I wanted to use some stamps, but I decided against it. A lot of this photo is me thinking, do I do this? And then I go, no, I don't want to do that. So it does. It's very simple. You know, I don't do too much. To the layouts because as I said I got too much to do so I'd spend hours if I thought about it too much um but yeah no we had a really good time at Winter Wonderland I'm looking forward to scrapping all the photos um there'll probably be at least sort of I don't know maybe 10 layouts of it just because I've got so many photos um but I'm looking forward to getting through to some of my winter stuff because even though we're still in winter it's January um I still have a lot of winter stuff to get through um so I'm looking forward to getting rid of my winter stuff so I'm just looking, so I've got a big box full of stuff. I just picked out some random bits and pieces, just so I had them all next to me. Um, so I didn't have to keep running to my, my craft room, but <laughs> I do actually keep running to my craft room because the things in the box are not what I want. So that's where I keep wandering off to. So I decided to pull out these um, like glitter glues. So the two smaller ones are from Dovecraft and they are the crystal and the icicle one and I just go around the edges of all the um like cut parts basically it's very subtle you can't see it unless you you know you're looking at the layout directly um but it's just some little pretty glitter glue it just sort of adds like little texture to the page um and I decided to go over the um title with it um it literally just says winter wonderland and I just go over it in glitter so again you can't see it unless you're like here but it's a nice little subtle um, accent to it. It's very satisfying to go around them. <laughs> and then I do have the Nouveau drops. Now, these are a new purchase for me, and I absolutely love them. So I bought the Dovecraft ones because I wanted to do, like, um, enamel dot sort of effect. But with the Dovecraft ones, they're not very um, dense, if that's the correct sort of word. Um, they create little peaks and it's quite hard to make them not have a peak when you do the little dots but these nouveau drops are absolutely amazing like i'm looking at the layout now and they generally look like an animal in i can't say that word enamel dots um and i absolutely love them so that's what i'm doing now i'm just dropping some enamel dots on there as such um but you just have to wait for them to dry um i've made the mistake you'll see in my other videos i forget and i move it <laughs> and i just absolutely you know smudge it all so yeah, you do have to be careful with it, but they do look really, really good. So I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I want to add to the page, but I'm pretty much just keeping it simple. So that's where I stick that little sticker to say thank you. And then that's pretty much it. I believe I'm just sort of testing it to see if it's dry. Um, I'm just looking at it <laughs> and then I decide, yep, that's it. So I just need to let that dry. So I will be doing some journaling on it, but because it's wet, I don't want to touch it just yet. 
but yeah so that's it hope you enjoyed and i will see you again soon thank you bye